Good day, good twelves. My name is Kaden Mazokere. I'm the author and publisher of the Distinction Bound Student Textbooks, and welcome to 1.12 under market failure. Okay, so market failure is failure of markets to allocate resources at an optimum level, and uh, the the markets have a tendency of undersupplying merit goods and oversupplying demerit goods. So for that, government should intervene in so many ways, um, discouraging the consumption of demerit goods. They have ways in which they do it. And then also encouraging the, pro the, the provision and consumption of merit goods. They also have a couple of ways in which they do that. Okay, but free operating markets will fail without government intervention uh, because they, they don't really care about the social uh, benefit or social cost that consuming any of this has. Okay, so study the graph below and answer the questions that follow. Uh, it says here market failure inefficiencies. So we have an indifference curve here, this one here, which uh, which has the same level of utility. Uh, any consumption bundle here will yield the same level of utility. So allocatively producing along this curve, you will be efficient. Then uh, this one is called the PPC, uh, which shows also um, production possibilities uh, where we simplify matters and say, okay, if the economy worked this way, where we had only two goods, a business or, or we would then either produce this or that. Now, this is a simplification of a, a complicated concept, but using this then simplifies that concept. So uh, our ability to produce along this production possibility curve is us being productively efficient. And uh, we cannot produce outside this PPC. It's impossible. Uh, but something can be done to shift the indifference curve, not indifference, the PPC outwards. Yes, it can by employing more factors of production or even government intervention can bring up, can bring out or shift out the PPC. Uh, like we saw in the previous uh, video, this one here, uh, you see we have this PPC, then we had this outward shift. Uh, which would be caused by government intervention. All right, then coming back to this one that we are studying, uh, the other thing we see is what? Uh, we have a couple of points, uh, point A, B, they are the same, and C, basically. Well, point A shows that uh, we are producing maize and no rice. Point D shows we are using all our resources in the production of rice and no resources in the production of maize. And then point C shows that yes, we we give up some rice and begin to gain some, some maize or the opposite. And then uh, point B is the best combination uh, because productively it's efficient and allocatively it's efficient. Point F is both productively inefficient and allocatively inefficient. Uh, but productively, we can't really say inefficient. We would rather say productively, it's impossible. Then point E is productively inefficient and allocatively inefficient. Okay, let's go to our questions. Identify the curve that relates to allocative efficiency. It's IC or indifference curve. That's one mark. Uh, what quantity of rice will be supplied at 800 units of maize produced. Well, if we produce 800, then we produce zero rice. Uh, the only way we begin to produce rice is by giving up maize. So if we give it up today, then we go like this. This is the rice that we gain. Then number three, briefly describe the term market failure I did already. It is failure of markets to allocate resources at an optimum level. Then number four, how can government discourage the consumption of demerit goods? Well, government can do a lot of things here. Number one, they can increase uh, excise duties or otherwise known as sin tax, uh, which is tax charged on demerit goods. Uh, it's charged on cigarettes, it's charged on alcohol. Uh, government can also regulate the uh, operating hours of liquor stores, bottle stores, 
or any liquor outlet. And uh, you saw what government did during lockdown. They uh, prohibited the sale of alcohol completely. So government can control that. They may have reasons why they, uh, they could try and regulate the consumption of alcohol by simply limiting the operating hours of, like, you know, it's not easy to, like Sundays, you will see that, uh, uh, even supermarkets that sell alcohol, like your shop rights, your you know, they have that section where they sell wine. They'll close that on a Sunday, even though the supermarket is still open. But then you cannot buy alcohol. Uh, I think it's I don't know what time they say it should close. Okay. Why will production at point E be regarded as inefficient? Well, E is mere laziness productively you have the capacity to produce more but you just produce less well it's productively inefficient it's also allocatively inefficient the the in this case there's all resources enough resources to produce at least at b so why would you consume why would you produce e if you can produce b well, you can produce E if you are uh, productively inefficient. So it's like you have the whole hour wasted. So let's say in an hour you can produce 600 or two and 200. Then when now you produce what? Maybe 300 and 150. Well, that's you being productively inefficient. Well, any two points that you can put there. Let's look at the responses. Number one, it is an indifference curve, like we said. Number two, zero. Uh, I think you remember what the question was. Where are we saying zero? If we produce 800 uh, what cages of maize, we are going to produce no rice. Okay. Then the next one, I briefly describe the term market failure. We said failure of markets to allocate resources at an optimum level. They have uh, a different definition here, uh, which says occurs when the market forces of demand and supply fail to allocate resources efficiently or optimum uh, output has not been achieved. Yes, same thing. Ne? Then how can the government discourage the consumption of demerit goods? Well, government can levy this or increase it, uh, which I explained already. Uh, what else do we see here? Uh, provide information or educate people on the harmful effects of these products. Yes, uh, you know, people can then say, oh, if it causes cancer or if it causes this, then maybe I shouldn't. Then <coughs> banning or regulating the consumption of demerit goods. Uh, I say it this one. Okay, why will production of e be regarded as inefficient e is that point inside the ppc we saw it few goods and services will be pro produced due to inefficient use of resources due to inefficient use of resources costs of production will increase uh, and so on well two points was enough uh you can pause this and uh mark yourself if you were writing this okay well this has brought us to the end of this video uh, as usual uh, thanks for watching like subscribe and share this video to your friends and i'll see you in the next one god bless